Everybody's body type is different. <laughs> Everyone is shaped differently. So for me, that would totally mess my psyche up. Sure. <laughs> I've had friends who's, who's competed. I've seen what it's done to them mentally, physically. You know, I like where I am. And I, I don't feel as though I need to prove to anyone that I need to look the way they want me to look. I just need to look the way that I want to look, <laughs> you know? So when I work out, it's not for anyone else. It's strictly for me. And if I want to put on five pounds of muscle, I'm going to put on five mus pounds of muscle. If I want to lose 10 pounds, I'm going to do it. Not because you told me I have to do cardio six days a week for 30 minutes before I go train. You know, it's just crazy. <laughs> it's madness. <laughs> Gym, better do it smart. Get your own coach. There, where you are. Start the day right there in your home with the smartest gym in the world. Ready, set, go. Smart panel, smart bar, smart training. There you are. Customizing it right. AI form advice. Super set will show you what it's all about. It's a total workout. Welcome to the Superset Podcast, episode 21. This is Crystal O'Keefe. And this is Tom O'Keefe. Hi. Hi. So. So about that tonal. How, yeah. how are you doing with Go Big, Go Home 2? That was a mistake. <laughs> you, uh, you, you now understand the uh, leg day. Well, yeah. I mean, it's not like I've never done one, but it was... I can now I can bitch about it on here. Yeah. But uh, yeah. But yeah, it's pretty was, rough. That was pretty rough. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's it's like I think the coaches are like big and strong. Like I think it's all, it serves two roles. One, you want the people teaching you to be big and strong to be big and strong. Sure. Sure. But sure. But it also makes it harder like when you want to punch them in the face. <laughs> so, so so did you want they to, have to uh, stay bigger and stronger than the people they're training were you, for when we get mad? Were you having a fight with Coach Jackson? I was not doing well yesterday. <laughs> I was not. I was not happy. Uh, I got, I you know, I was upstairs and I, I heard some loud sounds, <laughs> let's just say, coming from the basement while you were doing deadlifts. Uh, and um, no, it so, was the RDLs. No, the front, the barbell squats. Barbell squats. Yeah. Ah, that's what I'm it up was. To like eight pounds now, so they're, <laughs> they're not easy. Moving right along. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's just say there was, you know, like the cartoons where there's like, rah, 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 rah. yeah, that's what I heard upstairs. Only it was a lot more explicit. Yes. But I Not am excited. I, <laughs> I'm excited that in my my Met Pro journey, I am on an up adjust. And during my up adjust, I get to do a lot more of the strength training. So I decided to start a new program that I can do. And I think I can do this even when I'm on my down adjust. Okay. So it is um, it is the uh, coach Natalie's balance. Uh, it's something balance and it's it's all about like doing single sided moves and okay. there's two days of arms and one day of legs so i think i can make that work See, i hate single sided moves they're the worst but that's what you you need those i don't care i hate them i can but still hate them but you always are like oh i don't have the balance right that I, so that you need to do it yeah but i hate single sided moves because it's always like well that's twice as many <laughs> it's I'm the gonna, same amount i'm gonna be down here twice as long no like if you can do them both at the same time then that's but it's the same amount but not the same amount of time okay but i will say that the um the the class that i did take because i did work out one yeah it was not like super time intensive um and actually that was kind of one of the reasons i liked it um i feel like it's good for me to kind of ease back into it because i did i made the mistake a few weeks ago not having done the tonal in weeks yeah then i did glute gains and um ow that is yeah. what i have to say and it was like for three days and then 
I got my second. It was like COVID we had just started shot. dating. You wouldn't let me touch your butt. And then we got the second COVID shot. <laughs> yeah. And I was just miserable because you already hurt from the COVID shot. Yes, I recall. And then add, oh, it was bad. So I thought, oh, let's ease, let's ease okay. into this. So something to think about if you yeah. need a little easier program. Okay. You want so you're not satisfied with my my glutes. You want them to be great. Oh my god. I oh my god. This is, is this is I see how it is. Okay. So uh speaking yeah. of easing into things, <laughs> what do you have in store for people this week? Well, we are gonna talk about uh Tonal's big moves this week. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I love it. And uh so we're gonna talk about all of that. And then uh there's some there's an update to the trainer, a whole bunch of new workouts, and uh there's some fun little updates within the community as well. Awesome. Well, before we get to all that, shameless plugs, don't forget we're available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, iHeart, TuneIn, wherever you find your podcasts, you can find us while you're there. Be sure and follow us so you never miss an episode. You can also find us on the Facebook at facebook.com slash superset podcast while you're there. Like the page and join the group. It's a great way to uh, stay up to date on things regarding tonal throughout the week in between episodes uh and it's also a great way for you to start conversations with, yeah and especially the group that's the 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 better way yes. in terms of how facebook allows things to function so uh swing on by there and check that out and uh also we should say just a little sneak peek in, in the coming up in the weeks ahead we will have more information on the next episode but uh we will have an opportunity for you to win a tonal courtesy of well tonal and uh make a wish it's go, it's going to be uh sweepstakes where you buy entries and all the money 100 percent of the proceeds go to the make a wish foundation so, i am so excited uh, so we were wish granters we were uh in a previous life we were actually certified wish granters and so that was that was a lot of fun it was and so it's nice to kind of the podcast takes up a lot of time so we got kind of fell to the back burner and so now we found a way to kind of still help make a wish and still do the podcast check both boxes yes and i know that if you're listening to this you probably own a tonal already likely likely so um so you can always uh you could always you know give it to a friend you could donate it to uh i don't know a facility that needs one maybe a college dorm female sports program hey. which we'll get to yeah <laughs> but, you could uh, totally do you, that you, so like you could still take part and even if you know and, and also it's going to a good cause so yeah. like you know throw five ten bucks at it right you know? so we will have more information on that on the next episode but just something to kind of put in the old hopper to think about so uh there's all of that let's uh let's dig in shall we let's the tonal community giving back so there was a uh, a really interesting uh, story that went on this week. Uh, I titled this episode uh, "Tonal Fights the Patriarchy," and uh, so there was an incident at the NCAA at the NCAA where the men had all sorts of great workout equipment. It went the, on for miles. Yeah, and the women were given. Like one weight rack. Two no, cans no. of paint and a broomstick. And when I say one weight rack, what I, I don't mean like a rack where you can do squats. I mean one little tiny shelf of barbells. Yeah. And uh, then they said it was because of space. And then the, the, the girl that's showing Sedona this. Sedona Prince. There we go. Sedona Prince. Sorry, the, the woman. Yes. Sorry. Oh, geez, Tom. I'm trying to help fight the patriarchy. Mm-hmm. Look what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, the, the But I'm also like. 30 years older than her <laughs> so there I, I feel like i get a little wiggle room yeah there. that's but fair. uh but yeah she pans the area where they there's no space and like there's tons tons yes of space there's more there's a, the space in there is similar to the gap in our ages yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's uh crazy yeah so tonal stepped up they sure did saw an opportunity and, and a need and they sent 10, 10 tonals to the NCAA championship. And uh, the last update we got was that they had shipped and that they were waiting to be installed. And that um, also, for those of you that are waiting for your tonals, this comes from a different stock. So don't freak out. Quit complaining. <laughs> <laughs> or become an NCAA athlete. <laughs> a female one. <laughs> 
Uh, so I am so proud to be a tonal owner and uh, to be part of this amazing community. You know, several people reached out to tonal before they announced they were going to do it. I'm sure that tonal had to get, you know, they had jumped through some hoops, make sure everything sure. was cool, clear everything. But several people were like, ah, oh, can we do something about this, please? Yeah. Can tonal send one of these? And then they didn't just send one. They sent 10. Yeah, that's awesome. And, so. and uh, Sedona Prince got... Uh, she she got a hundred and eighty nine thousand retweets. So good for her. Good for her. I am, indeed. I think it's amazing that she had the cojones to, uh, you know, put that out there because yeah. you know people think that that's an easy thing to do, but it's not an easy no. thing to do because everybody has an opinion, totally. and they're not always nice about those opinions. There are a lot of people that are supportive of her, the majority. But I'm sure there were also, uh, I don't know if you've noticed this, but sometimes on the internet... Uh, people can be a little angry. A, a douchebag sneaks through. Yep, yep. Know? And uh, when you have that many retweets, that means you had a whole lot of douchebags slip through. Yes. Uh, just proportionally. Yes, That's what's right. going to happen. Yeah. And uh, I've I've been on the receiving end of... Of the douchebaggery right. a time or two. Yeah. And I'm sure uh, it's not, not to fun. the degree that oh, she God, just no. was. But, no. But still, you've experienced it. I, yeah, I just mean that, like, whew, to put yourself out there is not as easy as it seems. So totally. I think it's really awesome that she had the bravery to do that and that it something so amazing came out of it. I think it's really cool. Absolutely. And then, real quick, while we're talking about Tonal coming to the rescue, <laughs> I thought this was kind of a, a fun little story. Me too. So uh, Chuck Conlin posted. Within the tonal community that he was stuck in OC without his tonal okay. for a work trip. And he was very sad. He was sad. He had a frowny face in his hotel room. And, but he also uh, had a beer, so it couldn't be that sad. <laughs> but Kate reached out to Coach Jackson and said, hey, what do you think about maybe helping this guy out? Because Coach Jackson lives near there. And uh, so Coach Jackson got on the Facebook. Yeah. That's right. I called it the Facebook. It, the Facebook.com. That's right. It works. It works. It does work. And um, and then he said, hey, you want to come over? No, this is not a joke. And uh, then he did. Chuck Conlon did go. And they worked out together. And I think <laughs> that is amazing. I love it. I love that so much. Also, Coach Jackson, I hope you have room because Tom and I might be coming out there and we would love to like hang out in your garage with you. Who knew that go big or go home meant go to his home? His home. Right. Like that's it, it's a whole new spin. Right. That's yeah. that's not how I interpreted that at all. So good to know. I love it. And uh, Crystal is pointing out to me that we had a picture. I didn't realize we had a picture. So so here's a picture to go along with it of the two of them working out. And I they love are there. They're being safe, right? They're yeah, both, they, they got both their have masks. masks on. So if you're like, oh no, we went to Coach Jackson's house, they're both going to get the Rona. Like, no, they, they did the things. Yep, so. they did the things. Yep. And they obviously, I mean, I can see that they are smiling. And Coach Jackson had in his post, you, you were smiling, but you can tell. I squints are. are the new smile. <laughs> like sometimes when I'm lazy, if I'm at work, I just like squint. And I don't people even, think you're smiling. I don't even actually smile. I just squint. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think that's awesome. Agreed. Tonal community, the best. New tonal features. So I guess it's not technically a new feature. It's more like a lack of a new feature. Well, that's true. That's true. Um, but it's still pretty cool. Yeah. It's yeah. a nice little tweak. Nothing it, major. It is. It, uh, people had complained before that it was distracting that when they were doing body weight exercises that right. the weight dial was still there, you know, right in the middle of the screen. And I know you even mentioned it. Like yeah. you, you didn't say something to me until I brought this up that they had changed it. But you were like, I did wonder why You're that like, was why there. Is that there? But yeah. Well, and so the awesome thing about Tonal is that they listen to the community. And this was one of the community suggestions. Yeah. And they have now taken the the weight dial off of body weight exercises. So it's no longer there. But if it, if you miss it, you can just tap screen. It comes back. Interesting. I know because I was wondering, like, now will it look weird? I'm so used to that being baked in. Mm -hmm. It's almost like how, you know, you're on a news channel because there's all the stuff going along the bottom. <laughs> like, like, would it be weird to not have it there? Yeah. Well, and, and uh, I don't know if you tap on the screen. Actually, I think you pull on the cable and the weight dial will appear. But um, but the point being that you can make it reappear. So okay. if you get uncomfortable, right. if it's a little scary, change can be scary. If it's a culture shock for you. You can you can put it back. You can get right back. So that's pretty awesome. So 
So if you've ever wondered what uh, bench pressing 200 pounds on the tonal looks like, so put in the tonal at full full capacity. Full capacity. This well, if you're listening, then you can't. You see can't it. see it. But 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 if you you watch the YouTube, right? Then you can see this. And uh, it, it, what it is is a cross trainer champion. Yes. So <laughs> wait a second. And wait like he's second. he's struggling. Like I and I'm not. But, it, but it's hard. I mean, yeah. he is a cross. He is not just a champion. He is a CrossFit world record holder, yeah. Hunter McIntyre. And uh, you know, I think this this little movie it is exactly what people talk about when they say that like the weights on tonal are so much harder than in the gym. I bet yeah. this guy has no problem pressing two hundred with regular weights, but it feels different because gravity is not is not able to come off it's on the entire time right. so whoo it's pretty awesome to watch though isn't it you yeah know, no i mean like you said you can see he's struggling but i mean i guess you know i mean if you really want to impress me do it on eccentric <laughs> you know. put that on chains put on mister chains, you puss. <laughs> <laughs> we're joking yes please don't hurt me we don't we don't want you to hurt us <laughs> And if you're wondering where you can see the YouTube video, if you go to uh, youtube.com slash the clip out, which is the name of our other uh, podcast, but everything lives on that YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the clip out. You can see all of these episodes in uh, HD glory at that YouTube channel. Yeah. And there's a whole playlist just for the super set. So you yes. don't have to go searching through clip totally. out episodes. Get right to nice it. Nice and easy for you. Totally. Nice and easy. So a conversation started over in the uh, Tonal Fitness Nation group. Yeah, a very, very important conversation. Yes. And uh, it was from Joe Wetterhan. I hope I said that properly. Well, he brought it over to the official Tonal community. Okay. So I'm not sure who started he it. Okay, but he brought it to the official Tonal community. He did. Which is that it, historically lifting weights has been referred to as pumping iron. Right. Yeah. And... um. Uh, and so the question then became, since there's no iron involved on the tonal, right. what are you pumping? Yeah. And, and, and so, so then somebody looked up, I, I don't know who, the unit of measurement for a magnetic field is a flux. Okay. So, so are they, so then this person brought up, are we getting fluxed, fluxing up? all fluxed up <laughs> there's probably better terms than this is what they said so yeah. so uh then you know it became a a little comic game so tom i'm curious do you have any thoughts on what this term should be this seems up your alley i don't know i just when i hear flux i get stuck on flux capacitor right so right. Uh, for those of you who have never been to our home, we have a flux capacitor. We literally have a flux capacitor, and, and like a, a a prop replica of a re, of the of a real flux capacitor. Yes, yeah. and before the light bulbs burnt out, it had actually lit up and did everything. I had it hardwired. When you flipped on the light switch in the room, all the lights would come on in the flux capacitor <laughs> because I'm a big giant nerd, <laughs> and I'm a nerd too. That's why he got it for yeah. Christmas or whatever yeah. I got it for that year. <laughs> so it was pretty cool. But like, it's, it looks it's made out of the, all the same parts yeah it look, looks identical it's very cool but uh i don't know it is interesting i don't know about the getting flux I, get, I mean it's funny but i don't think anybody's actually gonna say that right you know do you have any thoughts on what people could actually say i don't know getting magnetized no that didn't sound no my first thought when you were like pumping iron i was like i went to iron man and i was like no no like, and I had all oh sorts of but there's already an iron man of, thing yeah and, it, and and the character iron man yeah, and pumping yeah. iron man i just had visions of pepper pots in my head <laughs> but you just wanted to think about pepper pots <laughs> no it's good if paltrow she doesn't really do it for me i'm just saying yeah it's the first thing you thought of so well, because i thought of iron man because i'm a nerd <laughs> we just we just established that and when okay. you say iron man i don't think fitness yeah you said iron man and i i immediately went, went to the to triathlon fitness, and i'm like no the real iron man <laughs> the real iron man the real iron man Honey, comic it's, books tony it's, stark it's a made-up character it's not it's not a real anything. But, okay, the Iron Man <laughs> fitness is made up. <laughs> it's not like it was like Adam and Eve, Apple Snakes, Iron Man competitions. Okay, but the people are actually competing at an Iron Man competition. Okay. <laughs> Iron Man's not really going to save the universe. Is the universe still here? Oh, my God. Thank you, Iron Man. <laughs> I will say it. 
even though Crystal will not. <gasps> oh, oh my God, this went a whole different way than I was expecting. <laughs> Uh, well, Tom, I am now officially concerned for you. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised it took this long. But I guess if anybody has any thoughts, feel free to go over to uh, the... Uh, the official Tonal community. Or our... Or, or the Tonal Fitness. Or, or our page. And yeah. Chime in. Facebook.com slash Superset Podcast. Hit the group up and, and let us know if you have any thoughts on, on what that should be. Yeah, definitely. So we talk about Kate from Tonal. She's You see her all the time within yeah. the community. And... Big news for her. Huge news. She hit a thousand on her strength score. I am so freaking impressed with that because listen, she her her strength score started at 396 in July of 2019. So a year and a half later, yeah. she's more than doubled it. That's incredible. That's crazy. That's I don't awesome. even have a word for how amazing that is. Yeah. I, I know there's other people with huge scores out there, but just to see that 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 jump like that. But we wanted to say congrats to you, Kate. I also I like this. See, this was news to me. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know that your strength score could change. So what? like, yeah, what? <laughs> because I don't think mine has. That's so. <laughs> not true. It has. Mine's been at like 420 <laughs> forever. That's like I don't even pay true. attention to it because I'm really not that invested in it. But every time I'm, lo- I'm like, oh yeah, as I'm logging out, like, oh, what is that? Nope, it's still at 421. It has gone up. It has. <laughs> like no matter what he said, it has gone up. It's been I at promise. 421 for a long time. Well, if you know, I have some some tips on how to increase it if you're interested. I was just gonna reach out to that uh, data scientist and see if he could get in there and talk to Taylor Stein and just just change it Bloop. like Matthew Broderick in War Games. Okay, but but if he just he needs to changes Joshua it, that thing. if he just changes it, that means that your weights get heavier. Oh, okay. So maybe I want it to go down. <laughs> Oh, Tom. Well, anyway, Kate, congratulations. Yes. That is quite a milestone. I am very, very impressed. I don't think I'll ever make it there, but I am super impressed with you. Look who's talking about Tonal. So the uh, website Mac Rumors, which has a very popular YouTube channel, uh, did a feature about connected fitness this week. Yes, yes. And uh, Ilias put this on the official Tonal community. So okay. thank you for posting this. But um, the main editor of the um, Mac Rumors is the one that posted this. And he went through a bunch of different like connected fitness products. But the important thing is that Tonal was covered. Yeah. They're talking, here's a guy talking about Tonal right now. Yeah. How awesome is that? And he's got it right next to his Peloton, just like you do. Nice. Yes. I was kind of a trendsetter. You are a trendsetter. Yeah. You got your tonal, your Peloton, and my flux capacitor. <laughs> <laughs> I did buy all those things. And the tread. I could go on and on about all the things I've bought, but that could take a while. Tonal announced uh, recently that they're starting a new uh, feature spotlight program. Yeah. Yeah. A new feature Okay, but a feature sounds like a feature on the machine, so that's oh, where I was yeah. struggling. Okay, so, that's, that's uh, true. But it's called Transformations Powered by Tonal. Yeah, so um, what it's going to be is talking about the success of different community members. And the very first one, um, Sharon Tate Bennett volunteered to, st- to share her story first. And so she talks about taking control of her own health and how it gave her peace of mind. And uh, you can hear... You can read her story at the, the uh, blog, the Tonal blog, but also there was an IG live interview on Tuesday, March 30th at 12 p.m. on Tonal's Instagram. So you can also check it out there. And I kind of giggled because when Kate said that Sharon was going to be first, she was like, she bravely decided to go first. <laughs> <laughs> Which I guess it always is scary to be the first one to do anything. But um, what an what an amazing story that this is. That's yeah. her transformation. Which if you're looking at our YouTube channel It has right. a picture of the tonal blog And uh, I mean the, the transformation is stunning Yeah yeah, it is I was just thinking like I wouldn't put like I, Not to disparage her but to like That you like, don't have the confidence yourself To put a, pi- a picture like that And that's that's what Kate yeah. means about being brave <laughs> Yeah <laughs> But she looks amazing Congrats Sharon That's yeah. really awesome Well done Very New tonal content 
As always, tons of new programs coming out. Yeah, so much cool stuff. Um, so this week, I am so excited to announce new program. It has been an eagerly awaited one. Coach Jackson's Four Weeks to Fat Loss, Part 2. Part 2. Part 2. And Part 1 was brutal. You know, honestly, everything Coach Jackson does is brutal. I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, he just kicks your some ass. Some people want that. Yeah, some, some people yeah. don't. Like, some people do. But like four weeks to fat loss, like I was so like Ugh, the whole time. But like I that is the the program. I feel like I saw the most physical changes. I can't say it was the hardest program I've done, but I think it was the one that I saw the most physical changes. Gotcha. The very first one is the one that I had the most physical changes from a like I saw performance based changes. OK. Um, and uh, I, I love that about tonal that you can do different things to get different results. But yeah. I digress. Uh, <laughs> Tom's like, uh huh. It's your show. <laughs> <laughs> There's also uh, new workouts. We have new kickboxing. There's a get your kicks with Coach Gabby. It's full body. Thirty two minutes. There's also a new recovery for knees. So any any kind of knee issue you okay. have this is perfect for you um, and it's 28 minutes with coach Liz it's all about helping you recognize and correct many causes of knee discomfort so that is a must do for me <laughs> um, and then there is another new yoga class midday energizer with coach Nikki there's a beginner um, that is a full body 16 minutes so it's a great way to like break up your day also, another new program that I actually mentioned earlier in the program because it's the one that I am doing. It is Balancing Act with Coach Natalie. And you were using it to chastise me. I was. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and it's a beginner, uh, full body, three days a week, and you're building while you're working on balance. I love this and it really does like work the different parts of your body um it promotes core stability because of it so i am super excited to get a nice strong core then you have dynamic bar with coach francis we've got a full body 32 minute flow where you're working one one pose to the next so that'll be awesome and then another yoga class morning ritual with coach nikki this one is a beginner 11 minutes it's perfect to start off your day so much new content to choose from awesome I love how Tonal just knocks it out of the park with all this stuff. I should put you on the spot. Which one are you going to do first? I don't know. That's what I thought you'd say. Huh. The four weeks to Fat bar loss. glutes. To bar glutes. What was it? I don't know. <laughs> okay. The April challenge has been announced. It has. This month, it's going to be Allison. Coach Allison, it's going to be her Great Glutes program. I let you say the name of that because you wrote Allison's Great Glutes, and I'm not going to be like... Allison has great glutes. Right. She does have great glutes, I, though. Maybe. I'm happily married. Okay. okay. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, I wouldn't even notice. That's safe. That's yeah. safe. But she does. And uh, yeah, now you too can have great glutes. If you don't already, you can take this program and uh, and there's all kinds of great other classes that are woven in. As usual, there's going to be the virtual group workouts. Uh, there's going to be all kinds of good stuff like there is every month. I love that Tonal is doing these. It's a great way to have because people don't know like, oh, which program should I do next? And right. I love that this kind of gives you a, just a keep going. You don't have to think it's something else Tonal takes off your plate to think about. Just totally. do this. Yeah. I will say that's the thing I like the most is that they, like I don't have to think about it. I know. Tonal Book Club. And then this month's book club is Atomic Habits by James Clear. Yep. So they're going to be discussing it all during the month of April. And uh, then at the end of the month, there will be a big discussion. Well, I think there's a discussion every week, actually. But um. Oh, it's a discussion post. And then at the end, there's like a Zoom kind of call where okay. you talk about it. So awesome. And the book, uh, the subtitle, An Easy and Proven Way to Build Good Habits and Break Bad Ones. I've, I haven't read this, but I have heard amazing things about this book because um, it really like helps you get to your goals because it helps you think about set goal setting in a different way and how to like build up slowly to those specific goals. Tonal Birthdays. 
And then we had two birthdays that we we missed. But if you want to reach back out and wish them a belated birthday, uh, Coach Gabby w- had a birthday on March 24th and Coach Liz was March 26th. Happy birthday to both of you ladies. Checking in with the Tonal Community. So uh, joining us today via the magic of Zoom Tube is Michelle T. Hey, Michelle, how's it going? Hey, guys. Hi. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do this. Of course. <laughs> the way you type your name on the screen, I, screen, I want to call you like Micheletti. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh, if you it's... actually reduce it just to my initials, you get Matt. Ah, so, nice. I'll take your way. <laughs> nice. I have a friend. I don't know if I've told this story on the podcast before. I have. I have a friend that uh, I used to work with a million years ago, whose last name is Hipperson. And they named their son Avery. Avery Hippers. Okay. A very hip person. Ah! Is what that spells. <laughs> and it's just like, you are a horrible human being yeah. to do that to a child. Yeah, that's a lot of words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I see p- pictures on Instagram. I think he's doing okay. So it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, shoo. So shoo, don't worry about that kid. He's I'm 16 glad Avery's now okay. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> One day he'll Google his name and it'll come up in this podcast and he'll be like, who the hell are these people and why are they talking about me? I doubt he will Google this. Um, <laughs> but he'll Google himself. I know, and I it know. Will bring him to this. Never mind. Anyway, I said I'm tired. Okay. Michelle's like, yeah, you need me for this? Can we talk about Michelle? Um, so <laughs> oh, I, I was told you have a very unique record slash status in the tonal community. Uh, how unique <laughs> well you i have been told that you hold the record for the most pounds lifted by any female cumulative ever Ooh, well that's i know kate told me i was figuring that other people would try to catch up by I, now <laughs> well they have not yeah. they have not your record still stands Oh, I mean, I'm not shooting for a record, but <laughs> that's good to know. <laughs> Should you be lifting while we do this since it's right behind you just so you don't I mean, lose I ground? I could, but I already did my workout for today, so I think I'm good. <laughs> She's like, get off my ass, but, man. Uh, so how, how long have you been doing tonal? Like, when did you first get yours? So I got my tonal in 2019. Okay. But the way I got my tonal is funny i think because i wasn't expecting a tonal in oh. fact i didn't even know what tonal was oh we gotta hear it this. just yeah. showed up <laughs> how did that so, happen um we recently moved to new jersey from pennsylvania and my husband was trying to fix the basement portion for me to have as a home gym and i didn't realize at the time that it was to have this beautiful tonal installed because you needed to have a wall and have the structure and everything in place. So in my head, I'm like, why are we rushing to get this done? There's so many other things in the house that needs to be done first. But lo and behold, it was a couple of days before my birthday. So I'm assuming this was the whole surprise, you know, aspect of it. And the doorbell rings and this guy is like, oh, we have your tone. I'm like, um, sorry, who you want? <laughs> You're like, oh, what? <laughs> and then I'm like, hold on one second. You must be here for my husband because clearly I don't know what the heck is going on. <laughs> so I get him and then he started acting all funny and whatnot. And they, him and the installers go downstairs down here and they will be in all suspicious and i'm trying to like listen in my head i'm hoping that it's a squat rack because this is what i asked for for my birthday i asked for a squat rack (laughs) and they i don't know even know how long they were down here for but then they finally all call me to come downstairs so i'm walking down the stairs and i get to the bottom and they go surprise and i'm like you're like, yeah. what the hell's that? <laughs> a TV, yay! <laughs> and you and hung that's it the wrong I way. No tonal. So I might get a lot of hate or like, oh, you don't even know. I'm like, no, I did not. It showed up. <laughs> so how long did it take for you to figure out, like, kind of like what it was, and that it, he didn't like, you know, shit the bed by not getting you a squat rack? He didn't, you know, and it took a couple months later for me to appreciate what he did. Mm -hmm. Um, So the tonal came in April. Okay. I may have used it in May. (laughs) I used it a couple of times and by a couple, I mean less than 10 times (laughs) the next few months. (laughs) Um, It just 
looks out there. It looks pretty. It looks <laughs> And the days that I wasn't able to go to the gym, I would come and use it here, but not to its full extensibility because I didn't know what it could and couldn't do. So I just, you know, assumed it was like a cable machine (laughs) (laughs) and cable type exercises on it. But it wasn't until when COVID hit and I'm like, huh, so. Now he looks like a genius. What am I going to do? Because I couldn't go to the gym. Everything was shut down. And, you know, I really needed to figure out how to make this work because I'm going to lose my mind. Because right. the gym for me was my me time. It was where I recentered myself and I lost that. So I had to figure out how to make tonal <laughs> work for me in that sense. Okay. So um, when you went through the, like, Tell us what process you went through to kind of gain that appreciation. And what was the what was the aha moment that you fell in love with tonal? So I never followed a program initially. I'm pretty much a free lifter. I'm always in the free lift mode. And in my training, I do a split system. So I train different body parts on different days. So I had to go back to like, my workouts that I would do at the gym and then figure out how do I recreate this? What position does the arms need to be? And in the beginning, remember with the arms, they didn't have those indicators. So sometimes one arm would be higher than the other. (laughs) That didn't work. (laughs) So, but it's literally taking the time and positioning in the arms to see how can I recreate, say a seated shoulder press or how to recreate you know, something for like a, a, not like your regular um, squat, like a Zercher squat. What's a Zercher Um, squat? So you actually have the bar inside of the crevice of your elbow. Okay. And then it's so much different. And in my opinion, it's actually harder than a barbell because you have this bar attached to you. put two cables that's pulling you down as opposed to a free weight bar when you're like screw this i'm gonna just drop it you can't do that with total (laughs) (laughs) you're trapped you know so that minute you want to just quit you're like "Uh uh-uh i gotta actually get my way back down (laughs) to get you know to the the next set or to the next rep but it was literally taking the time and figuring out how can I recreate these machines that I used to use with tonal. Okay. So let's, let's back up because I, uh, you're, it's, it sounds like you are really into fitness and lifting. Have you always been, was that like, are you, do you come from a background of you always worked out or how did we get to that? How'd you get comfortable in a gym in the first place? So I ran track in high school. I played volleyball in college and that was the end of it. Okay. I didn't do anything in my twenties. Then I had three kids from 27, 29 and 31. Um, after I had my second child, my mom, God bless her heart. I love my mom. She made a comment Uh Uh and that is what propelled me to change. So within the first two to three years of my journey, It was pure cardio just to prove my mom wrong. Mm -hmm. There was no strength training. There was no weight lifting. It was pure drench, sweat, (laughs) body weight, cardio. And I used, um, what was it? Beach body. I did every beach body you can think (laughs) of, not once, but twice, sometimes three times. And people looking at me like I'm crazy, (laughs) but I wanted to prove her wrong. And I did. (laughs) And then I got pregnant again. (laughs) Woo! Let's just start it all over. Just prove how well it worked. <laughs> yes, it worked. <laughs> so I had to start it all over again. And then I lost the weight, but then I actually got smaller, ironically. And I didn't like it. And it was a friend of mine who convinced me to join a gym mm. with her. And that is where the whole strength training and the introduction to weight started it was because of my friend she encouraged me because it was only ten dollars a month to go (laughs) and they had child care no child care me no go (laughs) (laughs) so that was the introduction to strength training and i only had two hours two hours 
because they can only watch my kid for two hours and otherwise they are calling you on the loudspeaker. Nah, 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 your kids. And I didn't have one. I had three. <laughs> well, you should have been like, well, that's six hours. <laughs> right? That's like, what that's, I was hoping. Yeah. Like that is, man, that's not fair. <laughs> so yeah. are you talking to your mother again? Is that? Oh, I talk to my mother every day, <laughs> if not every other day. But that was for me, the catalyst that I needed. Yeah. You know, I, I don't care what anyone else has to say, except for my mother and my husband. Those are the only two people who can like crawl underneath my skin and get me motivated and fire up to do something. <laughs> wow. Well, that was very good motivating factor for you then. And and that just goes to show that everybody has like different psychological factors that will motivate them. Some people that would have crushed them and yeah. made them, you know, made them kind of like double down and crawl into themselves. And so um, I'm glad that that did not happen for you. Um, but I but when you went to the gym, how did you know what weights to lift? Like, was your friend really knowledgeable about that? Or no, were... she had no clue. Uh, <laughs> we she both, was we both actually had used one of the trainers. OK. So I stayed with the trainer for a year. Okay. So I learned everything I needed from the trainer and he's such a great guy. But then the more I learned, the more I wanted to venture in a different direction than what he wanted me to go into. So I kind of quit training with him and, and I just started doing my own thing. I used to watch videos religiously. I would look up different exercises, read different articles, see what's best to promote, what type of growth that I'm looking for. And it was really just educating myself because at that time that was an interest for me. Just mm -hmm. like, you know, if someone is into crochet and they're going to look at videos and read to figure out how to make the perfect knot, I don't know, I yeah. crochet, but if it's something that's interesting to you, you're going to learn you're gonna figure it figure it out and that is kind of where i started developing and learning new techniques um to change my body into the way that i saw it not as how he saw it <laughs> interesting so i feel like that you are a very self-motivated person you're yes <laughs> <laughs> A lot, not a lot of people would do that. They would be overwhelmed. I think it takes a certain kind of person to like go do that education and put it into use. And there's so much fitness information out totally. there that conflicts. It's hard to know what is useful and what isn't and to kind of cut through all the BS. So uh, props to you for being able to do that. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, but you do still pick people in the industry's brains. I still had access to different trainers. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, so if I didn't feel comfortable or if I didn't know something, they would be the first people I would ask. And then I would go and do my research to make sure what they're telling me makes sense. <laughs> so I, I like to seek different perspectives, not just one individual, because fitness is actually very wholesome. One person may focus just on one area while another person person may focus on another area hmm. so it's good to just get different perspectives definitely absolutely so um i have a question for you about uh about you your record holding status so uh were you like already in communication with people at tonal or did they just like you hadn't talked to anybody and they just reached out and were like surprise they they reached out i just <laughs> train yeah <laughs> no, i don't do it for accl acclimation i don't do it for any of that like for me, training really centers me. Sure. And I don't feel like me if I don't have a workout, if I didn't do a workout. And I don't, I, it's hard to explain to folks that it's so, I don't know how to explain it. It's just that I've given so much of myself to others that when I've, reclaim that me time <laughs> it's so hard to give up <laughs> you totally if, if that makes sense yeah and i get into my little zone when i'm working out yeah yeah no that makes perfect sense and i it's, mean it's it, good me time too because it like it helps you do the other things in your life better right it yeah. makes you it makes you a better person to all those people that you're taking care of you know you have to you have to fill up all of those buckets to be able to give more so no it makes it makes perfect sense that 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 helps you with that. And and I think I think um, wellness and like I think exercise in general is often overlooked as as being like so therapeutic and <laughs> 
rewarding. Like it just, it just, it puts so much back into us. So I, I think that, but it's hard. It when- you don't get me wrong, but <laughs> <laughs> mentally, I feel as though I can take on the day. I can take on whatever adversaries that's come in my way, you know? So I use that to help me channel my inner peace to deal with my children, (laughs) you know, and it just, it, for me, it just helps me see clearer. Yeah. It just helps me see clearer. But like, um, I feel like when I was lifting four and five days a week, you know, and I don't know how often you work out. So maybe it's more than that, but I feel like it wasn't, it did. It's not like I suddenly was like breaking records, you know, like like so it's not just lifting, you know, you're clearly lifting very heavy. Like you're you, you can't just get those numbers. You, no. you know what I'm saying? So like you're you're lifting heavy and I'm I'm curious um, when you're you're doing your different workouts since you're you're kind of customizing them. If you're focused on like your major muscle groups, I'm just trying to figure out how you get your volume so high. You know, like how are you doing that? I love heavy <laughs> for lots of reps. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. So for upper body, tonal's 200 pound capacity is more than enough for me. Mm-hmm. For lower body, for deadlifts. I can exceed that, but that's okay. I just do 20, 25 reps at okay. their max. So, or if I want to switch it up, I just go really slow and burn my muscle out just to get that same feel. It just really depends on the day. It depends on the the method that I'm using, if it's hypertrophy or if it's endurance. That would determine the type of lift that I'm going to do, but I am going to exceed, oh, I should say I'm going to max the, the amount <laughs> when I'm using it. Okay. So that's why my volume tends to be higher is just because I'm using all 200 pounds. Yeah. Whereas that, some others you use like 50 or half of that and not for 25 reps, but for eight reps. So it makes, it adds up. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I just like hat tip to the installers, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. They did it right. We know that because it's still on the wall. Yes, because it's still right. hanging. <laughs> it is still hanging. It is going strong. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. But it's also, you know, you, you wonder sometimes, you know, you're just like, when it's a device that you pull on yeah right? no like you, totally and so you're wondering like is there gonna come a day and <laughs> that's you know i think it's safe to say that we're not in any danger of we're, overloading in our the house machine. we're fine like in our house you know, we're okay yeah <laughs> if hers is still on the wall i think ours we is got be this just <laughs> It's still hanging. It is still hanging. It is still strong. It's not going nowhere. (laughs) At least not without a fight. (laughs) I'm curious if you were able to find like every exercise you were doing at the gym. Have you been able to successfully replicate those on the tonal? I've been able to replicate a good 95% of it. And that's high. Yeah. Yes. So, and, and, and essentially, if you really do think about it, it's just a cable machine on steroids, right? You know, where you can control with the eccentric mode, with the burnout mode, with you can, you can change the intensity of your workout, but you can't do that using a basic cable machine, yes. yeah. you know, and then I'm not necessarily worried about lugging around weights now because all I do is just spin the dial yeah. or I use it on my, my watch. You know, so the convenience and it's just easier to do it here. I just flip, pop, pop. I'm on to my next exercise. I'm not walking all the way over there with these heavy old dumbbells. <laughs> cool. Although given you know. that it's a weight lifting machine, maybe mm-hmm. on steroids isn't the best. <laughs> now. <laughs> Total somewhere I mean, is like, how about we say? <laughs> how about we say it's an, inte- an intellectual lifting device. There, there you go. go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was, when I was talking to Kate, uh, she also mentioned that you found lots of ways to, especially 
it's kind of like you've you've kind of hacked Tonal's versatility. Um, do you do you have any thoughts about that? Like how because people ask that question a lot, like how versatile is Tonal? What can I do to get the most out of it? Because I hear people say all the time, oh, I use a, a squat rack. So to your point, how are they how are you able to get the most out of Tonal and, and really hack into that versatility? So I should say I do have a squat rack, <gasps> but I don't use my squat rack. OK. That, Go figure. Yeah, what right. I ask for, I don't even use. <laughs> and I'm sure your husband yeah. never lets you live that down. It's okay. It's fine. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. It's fine. It's fine. I'm. 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 I'm still to get. I'm able to get my workout in. So that's all that matters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's you know what people get caught up in the max weight, and that's the problem because you can't equivalent the 200 pounds on tonal to a free lift 200. It's not the same. Squatted on tonal is very much different than free weight squatting because it's pulling. It's, it's pulling fighting back. <laughs> it's literally pulling you down. So if you don't have that core stability, you are going to come crashing down hard. So you're actually putting more emphasis, and you're actually putting a lot more work into your legs than you normally would do with a free weight um, squat rack. So it's not only gravity, but tonal <laughs> on top of it is giving you that additional weight that you have to counterbalance to come back up in like a squat. In terms of his versatility, again, people focus on what it can't do as opposed to what it can't do. So if you, you, you want to do legs, you want to do curls, you want to do extensions, get yourself a incline bench. And you get your ankle straps and you've got a curl machine. You got an extension machine. You have, you can do so many things with a bench and tonal with the ankle straps. You can add like 25 different machines, <laughs> you know, to it. So as opposed to figuring out what I don't have, I'm like, okay, how can I make what I do have work to get the same results that I would have at the gym. <laughs> so I'm curious about the incline bench in particular, because I hear a lot of talk about this. Now, I'm not, a, my background is not from weights at all. So to me, it's not really that much of a difference. It literally just has an incline on it. Um, but also I've read that they're really heavy. Incline benches are really heavy, so they can be difficult to move around. So there's how, different types. Okay, so okay, yes, there explain. There are different types. So again, it depends on the individual. It depends on your, your goals. You know, if you're just the average person who just want to get a good workout and you don't really need it, but if you're targeting a specific muscle, you're going to need some, some to be inclined and you're going to be need, being able to decline to hit the lower chest or to hit the upper chest. If you're targeting specific areas, you're going to need to change your angles. So for everyone, they don't care. They just want to do a simple bench press and be done with it. But when you get into the bodybuilding aspect of things, you are going to need to change your planes of motion and your angles. So that's why I say, if you don't have a, um, a incline or decline bench, you can get one. They're not expensive, first of all, and you don't have to get the most expensive one. <laughs> you yeah. know, so it's just a tool to replicate something that you would have done at the gym. Okay. And they're not super heavy, so you can still move. Mine around. is not heavy at all. Oh. I have a cheap one that I got from Walmart and it does mm -hmm. me fine. <laughs> well, this go. is great information because this is not like this is why you shouldn't just believe everything you hear on Facebook because that's where I hear it and and it and I don't I don't have all the information. So this, this yeah, this is I great. would have hoped the last two election cycles would have shown you not to believe everything you read on Facebook. <laughs> Touche. Touche. Yes. I was talking to more specific. Like, okay. Yeah. I don't want to think about any of that. So uh, question for you. Uh, when since you came in with a, a pretty solid background at lifting weights and you were saying about the the comparison between 200 pounds on tonal versus mm -hmm. free lifting. Do, do you kind of have a reference point for how much you feel like you're lifting when you're doing 200? Like if that was free weights, where would you be to? to replicate that in your mind? So if I can use, for example, if I go for a deadlift, mm -hmm. so 200 pounds on, on tonal actually feels more like a 230, 240. Okay. In real weights. So for bench pressing, 
I was doing 135 and now I can barely do 85 on tonal. <laughs> it's really different. It's, it's hard to explain until you actually try it. Sure. Because it's this, this insane amount of force that you have to resist that you don't get from a free weight yeah. bar. You know, so when I hear people like, oh, I can do this and that. I'm like, you haven't tried it on a tonal because it was very humbling when um, at first I tried to squat 200. Yeah. On tonal. I was like, let's take that back down. <laughs> 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 because I can squat 225 on free weight. Yeah. But when I try 200, I was like, this is not happening. So we're going to. You know, check our ego and turn this <laughs> down. down. <laughs> so, and it sounds like it's very different from move to move. It's not as simple as like, oh, it's about fifteen percent more. It's no, it's different yeah. from move to move. It really is. And I guess that's because large muscle groups versus small muscle groups, and which which muscles you're using together. Because you yeah. use more muscles in a squat than you're going to use during a bicep curl. Like that's a complete. Correct. Okay. Okay. This is very helpful. Yeah. It's like we're really breaking it down. <laughs> so when you were talking about like focusing on certain areas, if you're getting in and do you do you just lift for yourself or is there do you compete or at any level? I com- I, I compete against myself. Sure. <laughs> um, I it took me a very long time to get to this place of self acceptance that I personally can't see me competing because I used to judge myself. And if you really think about it, bodybuilding, it's six judges they're, judging yeah, you. They're literally judging they how you look. all have yeah. different opinions of what the perfect muscle should look like, mm-hmm. you know, and everybody's body type is different. <laughs> Everyone is shaped differently. So for me, that would totally mess my psyche up. (laughs) I've had friends who's who's competed. I've seen what it's done to them mentally, physically. You know, I like where I am. And I I don't feel as though I need to prove to anyone that I need to look the way they want me to look. I just need to look the way that I want to look. You know, so when I work out, it's not for anyone else. It's strictly for me. And if I want to put on five pounds of muscle, I'm going to put on five pounds of muscle. If I want to lose 10 pounds, I'm going to do it. Not because you told me I have to do cardio six days a week for 30 minutes before I go train. You know, it's just crazy. (laughs) It's madness. (laughs) Yeah, those are all good points. I, I think I think it's it's one of those things that it's it's kind of fascinating again how different people can have different psychological it's like those things might drive other people right right. it's just it's crazy how we can all be so different but we're all the same like it's just it's kind of a crazy thought (laughs) kudos to those who do um compete but again for me i just my mental space is more important than a trophy yeah and and it's good that you know that like it's good that you can see oh i don't like how this would feel for me so i don't i don't want to put myself in that place and and i could see like you said how it would drive some people i could also see how for other people it would suck the fun out of it yeah you know? that's true too yeah like now it's now now that there's like a a, a purpose like now it's more like a job yes and less like something you just enjoy doing absolutely yeah. i got there whenever i was uh, whenever i was doing um when, well, I mean, I still do Peloton all the time, but I was doing power zone training and I, I really felt like that about power zone training because it was so not that power zone training is not good. It's great. But when you're doing it every day yeah. and it's the same kind of training, it sucks the fun out of it because riding my bike was exactly what you said, Michelle. It was like for fun and it was like that cardio oh. and that high and like that's that was all great. And so. That kind of sucked the fun out of it for me. So <laughs> that's what we do with the podcast. We record like three of these a week. We don't even release them. It's just <laughs> I'm just sitting off. Let's just record for fun. Just on a hard drive somewhere. <laughs> and I know you said that like working out is just for you. It's something to do for you. But like you're also known for you. In, you post all these really inspirational videos, and and they're like clearly resonating with people. Is that something that you're putting thought into? Like you're you're making them inspirational. So I know what it feels like 
to watch other people do it. Okay. So my goal is to show that you can do it too. You, you know, this didn't just happen. So if anyone ever had the time and actually went through my Instagram, you will see the level of change. It didn't just happen, you know? So my goal is whenever I post, I post with a purpose, you know? So lately my post has been about transformation and mobility and, you know, owning that. So it was with, and honestly, it really has been because of Tona. It's actually because of Kate, because she <laughs> made it. Um, um, I forget which one it was. It was Francis, one of the yoga flows, and it was a wrap after that. <laughs> but after a while, after lifting so much, it becomes very taxing on the body. Mm-hmm. And you don't move the same. You're always hurt. You know, and I got tired of that. <laughs> sure. I wanted my body to be good. I wanted to feel good. I didn't want it to walk around hunched over or, you know, <laughs> limping like a penguin after every leg day. I wanted to just feel good. So whenever I post lately, it's been about mobility and flexibility and trying to, I don't want to say convince, <laughs> but I want people to be more aware that, you know, your muscles need a break too, <laughs> yeah. you know, and don't just think I have to lift, 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 lift. No, you can still maintain muscles. In fact, you can actually gain muscle by flexibility, by moving your joints in different directions, you know, increase your flexibility so you can actually lift heavier, lift heavier. So that's another thing with with tonal too, because you'll be amazed if you can actually get your press straight, (laughs) you can actually lift more weight, which increases your strength score, which increases your volume. So everything is very interrelated. (laughs) And then also it's because when I started, there wasn't a lot of motivation I saw in terms from from being just a mom, just a regular mom. I'm not talking about like a bodybuilding type mom, just a regular old mom who enjoys (laughs) to lift and then go off and be with her family. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I wanted to show like the whole aspect of it. Like, yeah, I train, but I also have fun. (laughs) That's great. It sounds that's okay. So you're, you're kind of, you're, putting yourself out there to in- inspire other people, but also just to show them reality. You're, you're yeah, doing it. It's to- not all about the angles. I ain't got time to set up the perfect lighted. <laughs> Half the times in my workouts, I'm in pajamas. I get the comments like, Oh, about those PJs. I'm like, look, I'm at home. I don't have to change. <laughs> right. right. Well, it's back, it, it, it goes, it goes back to the fact that you're doing this for you, not them. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> Refreshing. Absolutely. <laughs> so I try to be as real as I can. I come downstairs in bedhead and pajamas and I work out and I go back upstairs <laughs> and then I go feed my kids and take them to school. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best kind of mom. You're yeah. taking care of you and taking care of them. So that's awesome. Absolutely. So uh, do you have any advice for people that are just getting a tonal? I would say take it slow. (laughs) (laughs) Take it slow. Don't think, oh, I do this in the gym. It equates to tonal. No, it does not. Okay. (laughs) Definitely do the assessment. Do a couple of, you know, programs or one-offs. Get used to the feel before you attempt to bump that weight up. (laughs) So that is definitely one of the best advice I can give anyone, whether you're new to strength training or you are a veteran, take your time, get used to the movements, get used to the feel before you start, you know, increasing weight. Awesome. Awesome. Great advice. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us before we go. Like where can people find the the videos that we were just talking about? Oh, you can find my videos on my Instagram is just Michelle AT nice and simple. (laughs) (laughs) Can't forget my name. Matt. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> awesome well thank you so much for joining us today we we really appreciate it we do thank you for having me guys i go i hope you have a good day thank you thanks, you, you too. too thanks bye. bye bye so i guess that's it for this episode uh what pray tell do you have in store for people next time we are so excited because we got to interview coach venus lau 
Ah, she was a lot of fun. She's so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys are going to miss the best part that we couldn't even include yeah. in there. But it was an amazing conversation. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a good one. So uh, that's what you have to look forward to. Until then, where can people find you? People can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Crystal D. O'Keefe. They can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Clip Out Crystal. And you can find me on Twitter at Roger Kubert or on Facebook at facebook.com slash Tom O'Keefe. You can find the show online, facebook.com slash Superset Podcast while you're there like the page join the group and if you like what you're hearing swing on by apple Podcasts and uh, leave us a review so people know that we're worth checking out and uh be sure and follow us wherever you're getting your podcast from so that's it for this one thanks for tuning in and until next time keep lifting The Superset is made possible in part by support from Tonal.